I've noticed that my engine is becoming more and more rattly so I'm going to investigate the hydraulic cam chain tensioner which is that big gold bolt there just below the the head we'll start the bike up now and see if it rattles it kind of rattles and then when the oil gets through it quietens down again so let's give it a whirl yeah so as you heard there it was like clattery and then when the oil pressure rose it um, it quieted it down again so I'm going to take that out have a look at it see if it needs to be replaced this is the hydraulic timing chain tensioner it's kind of three parts this part here is like the bucket and it has this just here there's a an oil waste the oil comes through um, the crankcase and there's a couple of holes in here look so there's an oil way just there then the oil comes through these holes and runs down the oil way into the bottom now uh, if you see at the very top look there's like a little notch that could possibly let oil through So the seal, the seal drops on there and gets squashed in between the um, the bottom of the screw hole that this goes into, and it obviously uh, gets squoozed against this shoulder there. But whether this piece here is also intended to seal against the this shaft or whether a little bit of oil is supposed to bleed through um, I don't know the second piece is this piece so the top plunger there is uh, it's spring loaded so obviously this piece here sits inside the bucket and the oil builds up behind this uh, and pushes it out so I mean basically it's a spring loaded and the further out this this obviously this piece can't move because it's against the uh, cam chain guide which is uh, normally they've got like a one end's got a pin through it and it's it's pivoted so that it can this pushes on it to tension up the chain take the slack out of the chain so it looks like when the oil pressure builds up this piston gets pushed out like this but if this isn't going anywhere it obviously puts more and more load into the spring to that end it looks like that ball bearing you see right in the center there is spring loaded so that is most likely a, a pressure relief valve so if the pressure if it gets over pressured sort of I don't know when the engines cold at high revs it'll be able to bleed oil past that um, so it doesn't damage the seal I guess this piece here then kind of binds up so it's free to move there but it binds up kind of there and then after you've gone through it it's free again so there's a there's a portion of this where it's it binds up so whether that is the issue with this I don't know and there's like a corresponding so the where that mark is on there that's where the binding occurs but whether the binding is occurring just here or whether it's to me it feels like the binding is is happening inside this piece rather than just there I think that's just a a byproduct of it binding here and it's maybe putting a load onto the side of the through the case I've got another one of these on order. When I get the new one, I'll inspect that and see if that binds up also. 
here's a shot up where the tensioner screws into you can see the oil there and it looks like this shoulder is flat so I don't know whether it was tapered to squeeze the seal against the sort of central the, the first piston part of it but looking at that I would say that's probably not the case now shot up here showing um, what the tensioner puts its pressure onto you know forces onto that down there I put the hydraulic plunger back in for the cam chain tensioner um, to get this back in you basically have to lie on your back on the floor and what I did was pressed on the end of the the nut with one of my thumbs like this because you've got to depress the spring loaded part of the plunger has to be depressed so when this when this unscrews it kind of pops forward so be, care, be ready for that otherwise it'll be flying out so keep your hand over it yeah, so basically I pushed on that and then with my other hand uh, carefully re-engaged the threads on it.